Hey, howdy, everybody. After several, several weeks of delays and waiting, version 2.7 of Genshin Impact is finally here. I have heard some very, very good things about the 2.7 Archon Quest, so I thought, why not record my POV? I'll crack some jokes, give some insights, give some critiques, and like commentate on it. I feel like it would be pretty interesting. I haven't uploaded in a bit, so yeah. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I will not ask for anything more. I do hope you enjoy the video, and come enjoy the 2.7 Archon Quest with me. Let's go! Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. We didn't expect to see you here either. Hello, Yanfei. Shouldn't you be at work in Lele Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Uh-huh. It was sealed before you got here. Why are you here? Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Okay, got it. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. All right. Well, bye, I guess, Yanfei. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Monkey Man! The two best characters in the world right now. Holy crap. Hey, guys. Someone's coming, but that voice sounds pretty familiar. Uh-huh, it's Max. I mean, Ito. I mean, Mr. Big Beatbox Beefy Boy. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? You're why is everybody crazy. asking us why we're here? Like, it makes more sense for us to be down here than them. Why is Ito in Inazuma? Why is Kuki with Ito and not the rest of the Arataki gang? Why is Yanfei here? And why is all of this unexplained? Hey there. I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu. Nice oh, to meet man. You. Okay, I love her voice already. I like this character already. I love her design. I love her vibe. I love <laughs> Kuki Shinobu. All right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me what? introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki game. Pride and joy, and yet you almost forgot of her existence. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? Mage lady. Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> when someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. Yeah, I think Paimon's eyes just do that in general. Not a single useful thought in that little swirling head of hers. So, uh, you guys know Yanfei? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life. So oh, wow. You could say we've met. Lore, guys. Lore, oh my god! She saved your life? What? I actually do oh, want to god. find out what that is what about. What are you two doing in the chasm anyway? If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. Uh, Yanfei went that way. Yeah, convincing, dude. Ito will fall for it. Ito's oh, gonna great. fall for Thanks. it. Yep. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. Hmm. All right. Now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. Ah, yes. The big nail. The thingy thing that crashed into the thingy thing. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, it's Yanfei. Hi, Yanfei. Look, Yanfei is here too. Good observation. Hey, I came to the chasm to deal with a will. Uh. A will? That's right. I found a will inside yeah, my book. Will you please shut up? <laughs> of, the chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> auntie, auntie, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Dude. Okay, I'm pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. That looked way too glitchy. I love a lot about Yulan. Her voice, her outfit, That's everything. Funny. It's so I awesome. Thought, could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Will you help me take care of this will? Why I don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Oh. Uh, Ito? That man is quick! Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? <laughs> Kid, where there's real danger, Kid, you'll bro, never see a that man sign. is... Well, honestly, she's not wrong. I mean, he's got the bulk of an adult, but, like, he's literally just a two-year-old. And what if we don't leave, hmm? Ooh, man is getting Boss. a little bit... Oh. Then, I'm afraid things might get... 
unpleasant. Whoa! If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? You think I was joking around, huh? They're both powering up. Look at that. Oh, no. These two are about to go at it. Wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. It's a... Ah! Ooh, animation. Yes. That lasted, that lasted literally one second. my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all quick thinking though dude how funny would it be if the ground collapsed because ito just stomped like if he was really just that heavy and his like little stomp that he did when he was getting ready to go was literally just strong enough to break the entire ground we seem to be a long way down from where we fell it's impossible to see what's going on up above ah i know what happened guys don't worry we're about to play undertale Woo! I came to the chasm in search of the fantastic compass, Whoa. which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. The person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. It led them to the worst treasure imaginable. A trove, an endless trove of NFTs! Ah! Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yeah, and whoever it was that got that fantastic compass thing definitely died when looking at that trove of NFTs. Yelon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding. Well, that's what she tells outsiders. Well, and she's I just there, like in the background, who can but I'd say hear she's us the only talking about who her. Can handle this type of work. I, I don't imagine that this is a very private conversation. I'm almost absolutely sure that she can hear us right now. job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Pama knows an adventure. Oh, man. That is one of my new favorite ether faces right there. I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Where are you hiding it? Oh, right, I forgot. People have, like, inventories. You could just kind of, like, throw a weapon in the air and it goes poof! Well, Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and uh -huh. reliable. I know. Somebody once told him the world was gonna roll him. Hey, I am too a sharp tool. No, I, I think you're just a tool, but we love you. I gotta say, this is like an actual Archon quest. This has got to be one of the weirdest combinations of people that has ever been part of an Archon quest, I feel like. But in terms of introducing these Who characters, we'd find a it's a perfect group a for this. Like this. The dynamic of, like, Kuki, Ito, Yanfei, Yelan. I mean, pretty good. It's just unexpected. And then, of course, Yao's going to show up at some point. I just don't know how. <laughs> Anime moment? What is That's happening? Oh. <sighs> oh. It's Xiao. <laughs> Hello, short boy. Uh, oh, it's Xiao. Nice ass. Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. Just when I said that Xiao was going to show up at some point, he shows up. There really is, like, something when you just say his name and then he shows up. Oh, shit. Wait, I think that's him. Outside my door. <laughs> Prepare to die! Hey, buddy, hey! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> I'm looking for someone. I'm... I was... I was looking for you, but I don't want to admit it. You're just your eyes and your hair and that braid and your body and your traveler. Kiss me. Kiss me now. Sorry. I promise I don't ship that. It's just it's just a it's just a joke, you okay? You shouldn't be here. Yelan is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get oh. along with everyone. She said Bullchucker with some sass, did you hear that? Honestly, Paimon and Ito interactions are pretty funny. Let's go. Ooh, we get to play with Yelan? Using Yelan? Probably? If I needed a Hydro character, I'm stupid, but I'm assuming they're gonna give us Yelan. Oh, they did not give us Yelan. Labyrinths like this are Whoa. unique to Liyue. Wow. This place is actually pretty cool. Oh, hey guys. Let's go! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> I didn't expect it to rotate that way. Hi, guys. Oh, free chest. I actually really like the way this domain is designed right now. Feels very new. I'm gonna be honest. I don't fully understand what the deal is with this thing. 
Ah, there we go. Hey guys, it's me. Order Kaiju. Rotate! Now what's over here? Um, whoa! These things, apparently. Hey guys, what? Oh, that was the whole domain. Dude, look at the backgrounds. Like, it's stuff like this that I really appreciate because this is like a chasm domain, right? They, they added like some detail in the background that most people don't really care about or pay attention to, but the fact that it's there adds a lot, right? Because when you're playing it, this feels so much better subconsciously than if it was just like a blank space, you know? So, very neat. I like that a lot. Yay, water physics actually huh? works. Little Wait, sploosh sploshes when you walk around. Right? Uh, how did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Yes, this is exactly where we start. How strange. How strange! But fear not. I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. What is he doing? Is he taking a dump? Okay, no. He's just doing his little Ito thing. Okay. You're up, Ushi. Go get that spirit. Wait, Ushi? Ooh. All right. Go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. If it works, if it works, base. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Huh. Inexplicable, if you ask me. I think we did... Okay, theory time. I think we did make it out the other side. It's just that this is a mirror of the area that we were just in. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Or the underground structures are just changing and I'm an idiot. Awesome. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks. Yep, that's but what a cave is. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon with me. Wow. Dude, I love the fact that they're like slightly sassy towards each other. This whole quest, it's so funny. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. With one hand. I do find it funny that, like, you know, Ito is this huge, bulky guy, and Paimon's this tiny, frail, floating baby thing, and they are both equally harmless. I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. <laughs> Says the guy who was just teasing Paimon a second ago. For shame. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh, look at his face. <laughs> oh, man. If you're scared, Hyman can cover your eyes for you. Dude, I love their interactions. It's actually Ugh. goaded. Also, I don't know if I've seen this before, but they have like a lot of different camera angles now. And in, in certain scenes, right, you have the characters in the background blurred and the character in the foreground not blurred. I feel like that's super interesting. I could be misremembering, but I don't remember seeing this yet. Wow, Traveler, you have been on the road for how long doing things in the wild and you still don't know the fundamentals of survival oh Dang. i thought i smelled something cooking uh-huh oh and by the way i haven't seen you in a while shinobu yay catch up time yeah it has been a while hasn't it the last time i saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute what the the in the i knew it she's a teacher yanfei's a teacher they look the same age bruh now that i think about it i should call you senpai Senpai Yanfei! Oh, that's actually so adorable. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. I was kind of hoping you'd be dead, but this works too. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. It is Undertale, guys. Please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Okay, guys, I've got an idea. So what you do is you scare Paimon so bad that her soul flies out of her body and her ghost can then from there scan the area and then you revive Paimon so her soul gets sucked back into the body and then she figures out where the exit is and if she dies it's okay because then we can split the food rations okay in hindsight that's actually significantly way too cruel um my bad 
See, it's times like this when I really regret that the Traveler isn't voice acted. Because then, I mean, okay, watch. I can give it a shot. <clears throat> yeah, can you hear me? Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Me too. Xiao, are you here, short king, my love? Oh, wait. <coughs> Cut out that last part. Oh, no. Does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? Okay, that's interesting. And, okay, the camera angle's sick. I actually really enjoy what, what's going on with this quest right now. Can I talk to Ushi? Hey, Ushi. Can we eat you, please? I'm hungry. Oh, wait, no, they're lavender melons. Sorry, Ushi, didn't mean to do that. That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, the one and only, will... Take a massive shit right here. Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on. Is it still warm? Oh, that does smell good. Mm. <laughs> I love him. Hey, don't eat them all. Leave a couple for me. Uh, yeah, there's still a silver lining, I guess. Uh huh? It's my it's my sword that I have equipped, the silver sword. And now I'm Kazuha. Hi, you're the last person I'm gonna talk to, Elon. What's up? We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Or, you know, just not have the brain cells to put up with anything depressing. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Thanks, Auntie! Whoa. Is that for the event? Ah, yes it is. There's nothing for Paimon to do here! So boring! That's your problem? This is probably one of the most interesting things that has happened to us so far. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot, I need a voice act. <clears throat> Just like that whole day's gone by. Now, it feels like we've been down here for months. Actually, we've been down here for only a couple hours. You're actually kind of stupid. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. We have been here for like two hours. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day. I, if only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Good priorities. I like his line of thinking. Speaking of ramen, Traveler. Are you hungry? What is the relevance of this? I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among, among us? The question is, how can you not feel hungry even after 20 days? Maybe Paimon just has a different perception of time. But how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Because one person likes to make exaggerations and has a walnut for a brain. Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here... Three, four, five. Oh, days. okay. I don't feel hungry or thirsty. So at the all. other other imbecile in the group. Mm. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. We're dead. Oh my goodness. That's why there are ghosts everywhere. I found something, everyone. Finally. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Oh! oh, another domain. What could possibly be hidden behind here? What? It's a puzzle? Oh, what? Oh, 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 where am I? Ah, 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 what, what? Lucy, is that you? Hey, did anyone oh. else just hear that? Oh, Xiao? Okay, whatever that is. Um, it's like a fork and then a, and then a P. Do they all have different appearances? Yes, they do. No. This one. I really, really love this, actually. Wait, can I? Ooh. Oh, hey! What's up, buddy? Ooh. Animations for each of these things? Interesting. The light shapers and the platforms will shine unique beacons of light upon the platforms opposite them. Ah. I see. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so you are over here, okay, and then you are over here, just like that. Ta-da! Oh, that's so awesome! Okay, I love this, actually. Dude, this whole area is awesome. It, it, you know what's weird? Because of the whole gravity mechanic, kind of reminds me of Mario Galaxy. Okay. This one, and this one, and this one here. Oh, enemies. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Relax. Woo! Bam! Huh! <laughs> just the, the mitochondrial dying in the background. 
All right, I did it. They're all done. Cutscene time, finally. Ah, I'm gonna be honest though. Like as tedious as it was, it was a fun puzzle. Like I feel like it was a pretty fun puzzle. It's just the these um I'm light shaper things could have been a little bit faster, like a tad bit. Now what is this? Giant hole. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. A small is not the word to describe that. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> oh. It's a hologram. We're playing Honkai now. Conqueror of Demons, can you hear us? What happened? What was the voice that I gave him? <laughs> I already forgot what voice I gave Chandler. You are stupid. But it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. That's not you. An illusion. <sighs> An illusion. Never mind, that is Xiao. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now. Get out of there. <laughs> He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Yes, because we trust Arataki Ito's judgment on this matter. Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way. Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Throw Ushi in. You're the bull chucker, after all. Don't worry, I'm invincible. Oh my butt! <laughs> I love how that was delivered. That line delivery, ten out of ten. Oh dear, I'm in water now. Ooh. Wow, man, all of the effort that went into this quest is insane. Well, bull chucker, how's your ear? It's fine. God. My butt is tough. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be having this conversation within Genshin canonically itself, but you know, if anyone's gonna have a conversation about a tough ass, it's Ito. Go ahead, you can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. Wow, where'd that come from all of a sudden? Show's not here, but seems a little out of place here, don't you think? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. She's so unamused right now. Our little dude must be inside then. Wow, nice deductive reasoning. I really like the logic. I follow it perfectly. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Once this door is open, we are out of here. What did you do? I mean, I'm sure he hit it, like kicked it or punched it, but my head cannon is that because he has such a tough ass, he 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 like butt slammed the door and like the whole thing is going to open now. Never mind. Let's just ignore the fact that there's a giant key thing there. Oh my god, I love this quest. Oh my god, I love this quest. Are those peanuts? Or like he's just... alone. Be gone. Ah! You heard me. Get out of here. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, am I seeing things, or was there someone behind the door? Nah, can't be. You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, all right. Uh, I'll open it again. What was that clap? Did you hear that? For uh, all day. Oh! Bad influence to our child. Be gone. <laughs> the, legitimately, what is happening? I'm so confused. Those people are carrying bowls. Oh, those are beans. Bowls I thought those were like nuts. What's that all about? People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of him. I did that once. It was funny. Gave me the fright of my life. What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? Ah, someone else opened the door. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person. I'm an Oni. How does that make you different? Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? No. Someone else opened the door, please. Oh, no. Wait, if I open the door, will I see Lumine? I'll try gonna be a different place That's our Shinobu. let's see what's behind the door this time oh no
Oh! Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady. You should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... <laughs> Honestly, like, uh, at least it's starting to make sense now. Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. Yeah, evidently. Sheesh. This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. Your mother wanted you to become a shrine maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a shrine maiden. That's right. Your calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you. You rock. You're totally hardcore. Come on. Am I the only one with chills right now? I will say, though, Ito is a very good hype man. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we going to get through that? And don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Rear in you gear? to give it a try? I mean, dude, the whole thing with Ito and butts and, and all that, I'm, I'm like, it's, 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 starting to, it's starting to crack me up a bit. All right. I'll try. Let's go, Yanfei! Woo! Oh. You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free. Sold two and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. <laughs> what was <laughs> the casual strut out? <laughs> huh. A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Oh dear. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? Evidently, process of elimination. They're not going to reveal what Paimon's going to see, so I got to do it. Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. Hmm. Maybe. I'm always looking for someone. It's going to be Lumine. It's going to be Lumine. It's going to be Lumine. Please? 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 So, wait. What's Paimon looking at? Nothing? Holy crap! Now that is nice. We're afraid of the abyss? But like, I do spiral abyss all the time. Ayo! Hey oh, what's up here? What's up with this? Oh dear! Oh my goodness! Oh! That was it? It was just like a short sequence? We couldn't open the door after you went in. Everyone was super worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah, after like a brief few seconds of like, ooh, this is interesting. Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little unpleasant. In there. Actually, it was quite beautiful looking, but within the context of the game, I guess. Uh, stupid door, I'll smash you to pieces! Using my ass! If Paima wasn't feeling so exhausted, she'd help out too. Oh, poor Paimon. <sighs> hey, what is this, nap time? <laughs> I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. Because that it's took several minutes. Changing, and its changes seem to be targeted at us. It's pretty cool, though. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. <sighs> Hyman's whole body just feels so heavy now are you actually gonna lie down for once are we gonna see paimon on the floor for once hey lavender melon you okay want me to carry you oh i mean okay at first the offer was very sweet and then the camera pans to ito and it's just not a very flattering expression honestly like i'm really really liking this right now because i will say it just feels like these little dialogues with the characters and all that it feels not necessarily like a different game it's definitely just genshin feeling but like different like better fresh new refined what are you doing oh the little dizzies are you okay paimon i did think about just using my oni super strength to dig our way out but the rocks here are even tougher than prison walls you've broken out of prison well i mean fair enough the rocks didn't even budge when ushi charged him it's pretty obvious this place is meant to keep us in here it's a cave 
if you smash the wall too hard, you die. The only thing I can do now is, uh, well, take care of this exhausted little lavender melon. That's sweet. Ito is taking care of Paimon, Paimon's taking care of Ito, and Ushi is just here. Twerking at me, what the fuck? Anyway, head to the place Yanfei mentioned. Oh, we're going here. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, cutscene! Thanks for coming to speak with me, traveler. Whoa, what is that camera? Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? Uh, it wasn't immediate, but yeah. It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. I'm pretty sure that was Xiao, but it presented Xiao to us at a specific time. Um, which led I us to theory, specific stuff and did specific things, yet. and it was very I don't want specific. Anyone to panic. Yeah. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? I mean, with Ito here? Yeah. We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here. Even ghosts. Even Ito! When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? Unless this space wanted us to hear it. That's an interesting thought. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. I'm thinking about ponies and coolness and Arataki Ito. Can't catch me. Maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons voice again. Hi, I'm here, sorry. Had to get chicken nuggets. Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And break. Okay. I have no words. I'm I'm just impressed. The sound came from behind the solution. Let's go in and take a look. You got it. Sound, sound, where are you? Sound that Yanfei heard. I would like to hear you as well. Wait, what? What is this? Um, guys, I found the exit. Oh, what the? Wait, Yanfei follows you? Oh my god, that's so cool. Dude, that is actually so sick. What? They gotta have this in more quests. Check that out. You have an NPC character following you around and you can interact with them. The one I... Is that... I love the sound design. It's so sick. Yo! I'm assuming it's not him, though. It's just that illusion. Now. We're close. Um, that's a wall. You're talking to a wall. Oh, never mind. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine. Honestly, glad that's the first thing she asks. Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. We're warning you. We're stuck with a crazy buff man and like a tiny flying pet. Everything is chaotic here. I mean, fair enough. Welcome to Genshin Impact. Roll credits. And earlier, the traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. Not really that dangerous. I kind of got out immediately. <sighs> How do we meet? He's so disappointed in us. Can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try something there. It might work. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice and specific, Yanfei. Though, no, honestly, you've been doing a good job so far. <sighs> oh, there he goes. Bye. Stand back. Oh, never mind. He's here. Oh, hey. It's him. Like, <sighs> actually him. Oh, he has cuts. Look at that. Let's get him back to the camp. Oh, wow. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. <sighs> All right. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Xiao dreams about. Imagine, like, he falls asleep and it's, like, the most wholesome stuff. Like, he sees the world around him just, like, death burning. 
evil. And then, like, in his head, it's like, ponies! And, like, rainbows! Does Xiao sleepwalk? Does Xiao sleep fight? That, that'd that be kind of funny. <sighs> Sometimes I really envy the boss. He's just that airheaded that everything's chill. I love that about Ito. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? I went back to the domain again just now. My clan has practiced magic for generations and has created some catalysts that only we know how to use. That confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Just like with that door. By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. If that's the case, it can only have one goal. To trap us here until we die. Remember when this all started and this was just an argument between Ito and Yelan over like whether or not he's allowed to stay in the chasm? Yeah, good times! Yelan, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. What were you referring to? <sighs> I... was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Now that is interesting. Can we talk about that, please? No? Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourself. Okay. No Thank you. No one else can know. 500 years ago, a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the seven nations of Tevat. The Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liu had ever faced. Hmm. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, the tide turned. Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back insane everything about it was strange the day the chasm was unsealed i put in a request to be transferred here so i could finally learn the truth of what happened back then very interesting but this place we've ended up in and the possibilities we're facing it's all far more terrifying than i'd imagined right now our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive and our number two priority it's finding out where the ice cream is. I'm hungry. Time you go. guys vibe there. I'm gonna go check out what everyone else is up to. Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Do you think she's Oh, dreaming? she's asleep. See, that doesn't look like she's sleeping, but is that how Paimon sleeps? Man, she looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. Aw, poor thing. I love how he cares, like, so much about her, too. And that little dude looks done in, too. Uh, I'm kind of worried about him. It's so funny to me that, like, Ito acts like an older brother that literally is dumber than all the other siblings. <laughs> Good morning! Or evening! We don't actually know what time it is. Hi, man, are you feeling better? Yep, way better. Paimon just got a little fright because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. Fair enough. So anyway, Paimon just had the weirdest dream. There were cattle mooing constantly. Mm-hmm. And its name was Ito. And also there were intelligent people talking. And, like, I think one of them was Ushi. Mm. Yeah, just like that. Were you looking after Paimon? Mm. Aww. Glad everyone's having a good time. Or kind of, relatively. <sighs> good morning! Or evening! We don't actually know, it's kind of complicated. How do you feel? I'm fine. I came here looking for someone, but when I found them, they weren't anything like how I expected. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Are they an adeptus? <sighs> I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. That explains a lot. Aren't the other four gone from the world? Ah, but see, it's the wording of that that always interested me. Because they disappeared. It was never stated that they died. They just sort of up and left. And that could be interpreted as they died, or that could be interpreted as they're scattered. You could say that, but Bosatius' body is the only Oh, one oh, oh, uh, whoops. I am, uh, I was wrong, I guess. The last time I saw Bosatius... It was the day he lost his mind. He left. No one knew where he went. And I never heard from him again. He once told us, as Yakshas, we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other and know each other's fate to the very end. Damn. I am the sole survivor. So it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. 
Very noble, I like it. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Did you know that 500 years ago, the beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? Uh, I do know. It is said that in the midst of the battle, a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight. But no one knew the Yaksha's name. You must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? I am by no means certain. And I didn't have any other clues except for this one. <clears throat> Wait. So it was Bosatius you were fighting with? Did he injure you? Yes. Huh. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will, too? What will? Oh, right. I came here because of a will. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before. But both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. It's known as a last will and testament. And this can be done at any time? Whoa, whoa. You want to write a will <laughs> now? What? what the heck? Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. Whether I accomplish what I well, came here to do or chilling. not, I must find a way to get you out safely. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. You might become a shadow of your former self, wandering the underground That's what like saw. soul. Sounds like you saw them too. From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. How did he get in here? So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. And then die? Please don't die. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? I mean, it will take everything I've got. Wait a minute. When you said you were going to get us out safely, you mean you're going to stay here? You can't be serious. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. But if this takes all the energy you'll have, you'll... No. No way. Even if what you're saying yeah. is true, I can't agree to this. Th that's <laughs> rough. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work. It's not worth it. I'm on voice of reason. I well, she actually does that sometimes. It's just to conclude, funny. I'm not agreeing to this plan. What if I told you? This is my Ah uh, yeah, I was gonna bring it up like <laughs> he's gonna write a will I was gonna make a joke that he was gonna write a will, like right before he does the thing. That's your strategy, huh? No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed. Or Thank you, Leo. Uh, I fucked up your name. Fuck it. You said it yourself. Yakshas pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles. So I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like Whoa. this until the very, very end. Losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. Or we can believe in the power of friendship! Isn't that right, Uchi? there isn't? Or if we don't find it? And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? Yeah, that's right, I heard ya. No one's staying behind to let anyone Heck else out, alright? Yes. Enough talk. Heck Time yes. For action. Come on. Butt blast that wall right now, Ito. Come on. They're all Come waiting on, in anticipation. Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you. It's not gonna you work. It's... Oh, it is. Yeah! Wait. Okay. Action. That's sick. 
Uh, uh, whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> Was that your plan? Check it out. New to power. obliterate the entire <laughs> space? If you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Wow. How did he? Should have seen this coming. He's asleep. Uh, why do you always have to do things like this? What happened to Ito? Did he pass Yeah, because you don't waste energy here, right? What happened? The boss used up all his strength in one punch. Oh. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. But how long does that stay open for? Why are you guys waiting around? Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. Yes, please. That should have been the first thing you thought about. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? He just can't stand conflict between teammates. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki game, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. That's kind of funny. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. Ito, please tell Paimon you're okay. Oh, what the heck? Guys, guys, it's so wholesome. I, I'm not, man, I miss like just this pure stuff. We need more of this. I'm sorry. Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. And Ito's still alive. He's just exhausted. Like, it worked out. Boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up. And he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Everyone's important. We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no. To a whole lot of people. Yeah, actually, I didn't even process this. She is being queen of Let's pep talk right now. Let's all do our right best now. to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? I'm assuming that's how we get out of here. If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. I will find a way. <laughs> and he's gone. Yeah. Uh, what? <sighs> right. That's much safer. Since Ito can't fight right now. I've Wait. So like, it's literally just legit. Like Yanfei knows Adeptus spells and like other spells. Is that like we never had that explained until this point? But Thank sure. You, senpai. Please. Oh, senpai. Be careful. Senpai well, Yanfei. I will to refer you. to you as that for the rest of this quest because I forgot that was a thing and I intend to do it now. All right, Traveler, let's go. Aye, aye, Senpai Yanfei. Uh, I'm pretty sure, according to the events, this is the last domain that we've got. What's this? Whoa, are we outside? Oh, we're, uh, we're kind of distance. outside, but not. Hold on. Wow. Is that the fantastic compass? Even bigger than a cooking pot, even bigger than all our heads combined. I think it's even bigger than that, thank you. You can come up yeah, thank you, Paimon. Way, way bigger than that. But if this really is the fantastic compass, it's so huge. How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? Uh, imagine it shrinking? I don't know. <laughs> oh! What the? Are they? Are they treasure hoarders? How are they here? They look familiar. Oh yeah, I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Yeah. Um, because they look the same as all of their friends. No offense, treasure hoarders, but you... What? Wait, what? Why am I using Yanfei? Woohoo! Yep, yep, yep! Woohoo! Yep, yep, yep! Woohoo! Woohoo! Boom! There we go! This area is really pretty. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is this space recreating scenes from my memory? Interesting. Here, where are we? Like, honestly, in the overworld, where are we? Um, apparently we're here. <laughs> in Minlin. There's a smaller disc here. Ah, oh, what the Touching heck? From the, huh? A new entrance. Great. Whoa. Is this a tunnel? What the uh, heck? This is weird. No it kidding, it's like weird. It's connecting to another world. Or maybe another time. 
this is really cool. I love stuff like this. Oh. The Fatui? Whose memory is this? Mine. Probably. Uh, watch out! <laughs> Just as I thought. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's sick! Wait, are we each gonna, like, get, like, the party members and, like, slowly build them up? Hip! Gotcha! Here comes the catch. Ah! Yelana honestly deals a lot of damage. It's insane. Alright. Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? Yeah, we touched it. Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Man, this is like Alice in Wonderland stuff, right? It's crazy here. Rotate the needles on the fantastic compass to different points to change the time in this area and jump to different times. Oh, your actions in a certain previous point in time may affect the next point in time that you jump to. Wait, what? If I go through here... And we do this thing again. Oop! Are there, are there more fights? Oh, the tree! Look at that! Wait, so if you go even further back, this tree won't even be here, right? Is that what it... Oh! Oh, wait! Because I broke the tree, now we can go back through. Okay, so this is as far back as we go. So if we go forward again, and we go back to that other time, the tree won't be there. Am I big brain? It's actually not that complicated, makes sense. Ah, yeah, we can go further. Let's go even further! Dude, I love this. Literally, it's so cool. To the future! What mysteries lie ahead? More fighting? More characters? Another new space. Osatius. Oh! I can't believe someone like hey, you would end up as a lost soul underground. Stay back. This is my fight. Oh, Do never mind. Can I play a shell? Oh, yeah. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? What am I supposed to do? Do I hit it? What am I supposed to do? Uh oh. This is not going well for Shell. I'm not taking damage. It's fine. I'm just not killing anything. Look! Osatius is showing signs of fatigue. I mean, yeah. It would be it's cool that you're narrating this, but I'd like to see it for myself. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. This is cool though. I mean, at least this effect here. That's it? You just dodge? I feel like it was meant to be harder than that. Come on. Phantom, be gone! <laughs> what? what? I'm sorry. Huh? What happened? Genuinely, what just happened? Chill, are you okay? Huh? Injuries. Yeah, look, okay. One, the cuts are gone, right? That's one. Two, what happened? Genuinely, what happened during that fight? It was just like a bunch of hands, and that was it. We were just dodging stuff. This is my purpose. It wasn't even hard. Don't worry. Like, if I was designed to lose, make it so difficult that I'm designed to lose, and make the characters narrate and say that, oh no, Xiao's struggling. You know, like, and you can see during the fight that you're struggling, and then you'll, you'll fail it, and then it's like, oh, okay. I understand. I'm so supposed to fail. Osatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. And it's in the most anticlimactic, weird fight I've ever been in. How could his name be lost to time? Time! What happened? Maybe he forgot who he was. Yeah, the concept of time and the fact that it's brought up here is very interesting. Also because a lot of people have, like, theories about Paimon. And that Paimon is, like, somehow related to time. Because of all the themes with, like, you know, the abyss and all that. Space and time. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? Maybe he just enjoys it intrinsically and it's like a thing. We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peace time. Yeah, exactly. It's likely it's that he just was like drawn by his, the He literally war. went monkey brain and he was like, Ah yes, fight, I go! Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we Yeah, know. monkey brain, fair enough. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. So, if I stepped into this domain, am I going to relive the experience of losing the Venti 50-50 and over and over? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Yeah, and whatever this is, is new. Because I don't think we've experienced or encountered anything like this, apart from in Mondstadt. Remember, like, the, the sundial stuff? I don't know if you guys know what that is. But there were sundials in Mondstadt, and we could mess with time. So, the time god 
or the god of time or whatever clearly has connections outside of just one region so it's very interesting i think i'm suddenly feeling more tired than i was it's okay senpai anpai i will protect you i believe bosatia stayed here underground but now he is gone and only his illusion remains if we don't leave we may meet the same fate okay but how do we leave he fought well bosatius goodbye that was it how do i how do i how open man that would really suck if that was it i i do not want that to be the climax fight of this archon quest because that was boring i doubt it is the, the climax fight but oh hey is there something on the, oh lever yeah there we go puzzles for babies am i right genshin you make it too easy for me i tell you i tell you we go. Oh, wait. Oh, we're supposed to go back in time until the very beginning. What's at the very beginning and why do I feel like this is bad news and not good news? Wait, I want to see this. Mmm, satisfying. This is all really interesting and satisfying. All right, now to head to the very beginning of all things. What awaits us? Okay, let's see. Understandable. Letter four. No idea how long it's been since we can blah 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 blah. We are victorious. This place is very mysterious indeed. I do not know if it is because we miss home or because this place is always like this. But when we're on patrol here, we can see sights that we could only see back home. I used to hear the old folks say that Leah has had hundreds of years of history when it comes to mining in the mountains, but this doesn't look like any mine. Perhaps this might all be my imagination. What with missing my childhood, home back in the mining settlement, how I wish I could go back there. Uh -huh. hmm. It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. But where is here? So, who's this Boyong they mentioned? <sighs> Boyong was one of my ancestors. The one who didn't make it back. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. I don't? Am I dumb? Yes. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. Yes, please. Yes. Wow, this one's like almost fully functional. Am I, am I being inefficient by moving it forward? No, what am I doing? Waiting game, the waiting game, the waiting game. Compass, please. Faster, please. Honestly, this this reminds me of, um, of Skyward Sword. Very Zelda-like. That is a very bad sign that it's really dark out there. Is it just nighttime or is it abyss? It's abyss, isn't it? Wait, I'm not. I'm not doing that. It's getting darker. What the heck? <gasps> oh, oh man! Lumine, wait! What voice acting? Where, where'd that come from? Where? Why didn't we have that the whole time? Also, hi Zach Aguilar. Lovely voice acting. Great to see you voicing like two words. Whoa, wait, actually, what happens if I go through here? Nothing? Wait, how big is this area? Whoa! Ah, ah, whoa! Okay, I was gonna say, I, I was kind of worried that they did not account for the fact that you could fall forever. That would have been scary, but she's looking at us. Dude, this whole place is actually very interesting. I love the abyss and everything related to it. Like, the stars, the sky, everything. It's so cool. I love Genshin Impact. What? What's that shiny round thing on the ground? I wonder what it could be. The Fantastic Compass. From the design and build, this Fantastic Compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and someone oh, whoa. this before. <laughs> there may be a hidden message inside. All right. All right. Oh. Here we'll be fine. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates, all the world within reach. Care to explain what that was, or are you just going to stand there and look at me in a weird way? Okay, thanks, bye. I meant bye. Well, salute to this area, whatever this is. Very cool. Honestly, very, very cool. This is not what I was expecting. This whole quest was not what I was expecting. It's, it's long, there's a lot of depth to it, and all the mechanics... Every single one of the new mechanics feels great. Oh. Ah, this Yaksha has four hands and behaves in a maddened fashion. Huh. 
I mean, someone out there will have the capability to understand what this means. I have no idea what any of this means. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyang. All this information... It was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the fantastic compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Karma. <laughs> Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, ah. they were tainted by his karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't That's... have been able to resist its effects Dude, for very long. Dude, the writing is hitting it. It's so sick. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyong ended up staying here for good too. So that's it. There's no way out. What do we do? Are we gonna die? We have the we have a compass. It the, the job of a compass is to direct you somewhere. Like we've used it like a clock, but it's supposed to point us somewhere. Oh, oh. Well, that's just great. Thanks. Just kidding, it's gonna somehow work out, and... Huh? What was that? Huh? Oh my god, the big book. <laughs> the big book in her, uh, her trailer or whatever. I got it! I just had a thought. Ah, oh, her book! I love her book. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time. But I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. Uh-huh. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. When mortal and Adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. That's kind of beautiful. I have both adepti but... and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. Yeah. Get it, Yanfei. Send Pai Yanfei with them protagonist vibes. Come on. It worked. Oh my god, Yanfei is actually the protagonist of this quest, bro. Actually but so still, sick. Something seems to have been activated inside the fantastic compass. Um by heaven's might oh, the gods hi. Of the five regions Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand Are those the two voices That's from the their voices from when they made the scene Yes Everyone let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu I have a suggestion to make I can barely move anymore oh, Why can't we get out of here I might doesn't want to Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Aw, dude! The way the characters interact in this quest, so Let's good. Let's go. Let's go! Hey, guys! Oh, we all stroll Shinobu, up with the same strut. Ito, we're back! We found the fantastic compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever, too. Oh, boy. I see where this is going already. Um, I will not say anything until I confirm. This isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the Fantastic Compass, and it responded. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with the method. When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. I'm a mix of human and adeptus, so the fact that the fantastic compass responded to me shows that the right. system is These still functional. I knew it! Yep! Lucky yep! Us, yeah, my brain is a massive. A full I was gonna say, a human with training in the, magic arts. the there have been like a lot of comparisons, um, and I, I, I will point this out. Very, very clever camera work because there are plenty of shots that draw comparisons between Xiao and Yulan throughout this, right? Their colors and their poses and everything, right? And the way they stand in frame, you know, was leading up to this point. So it's very well done. 
Very good storytelling. Love this. If my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the Fantastic Compass, we should be able to completely reactivate it. Not to mention it. it. Not to Maybe mention even it, right? It. There, it's like foreshadowing because you have Yelan, ancestor, right? And then Xiao, Yaksha. Same, you know. Last time, more it comparisons. To seal the it's just between this really place cool. And the I like it. It's so cool. Can... <sighs> your idea seems reasonable. Okay, well let's all take a quick break. We'll give this thing a try once we're ready. Why not now? Hurry up! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh boy. We all came here for different purposes. And everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Terrifying, but also a miracle. And again, it begs the question who made it, right? Like what Genshin deity made this? Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed That's for what a I just said. long time. What could have created it? A giant snake? Oh, that. Yeah, I was there too. That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization. And crystals are highly effective against it. Maybe there was some sort of opposing reaction between those two forces? And that created this? Wait, Wait that's everyone. crazy. Hold on. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. Damn. Okay. Xiao the poet, I guess. Honestly, I trust in this plan because Senpai Yanfei invented it. Or came up with it or whatever. Also, Yanfei has just been cool this Perhaps entire time. Was. I loved uh, maybe this Maybe there's plan. another reason. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family. But if they were here... I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. Aw, thank you, Senpai Yanfei. Cutscene? Yup! Stars align, bestow oh, your man. light. I was gonna make Evil a joke, but... purged by thunder's might. Spirit man. curbed, Numa surge. This is just by cool. By dictum divine, heed these words. Do as I command! <laughs> Whoa. Fantastic Compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level, and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yaksha's, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in! Oh, dude. Whoa. Is this an elevator? Are we just rising? Is he okay? Is he alright? Also, ew? Those are souls that have been trapped here, I guess? Watch out! Oh, yeah, I forgot you could do that. <laughs> Anime time. Yes, yes. Windblade! Oh. This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. Oh. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Mm. Yeah, I was unironically doing the Windblade pose. I'm kind of distracted by that. Ah, oh, yes, dull blade. Yes. Oh. Oh man, this is. I don't know. How, I don't know what to say. I'm just invested. Like this is one of the coolest things that has ever happened in Genshin, and all of this is well done. Is Yao okay? I'm getting increasingly concerned. I can't tell if that's like an effect or if that was like actually some electricity. Oh hey! Is he okay? Genuinely, is he? Whoa. 
You can't keep this up. Your strength won't last. Why are we still rising when he stopped? Um. Wait. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Damn. Xiao? Is he just trapped there? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind, never mind. That's good, that's good. Something. Ah, yeah, I knew it. I was gonna say. Something tells me that Zhongli was gonna be standing there. Yep. And there goes the compass. Man! That was so good. I literally was speechless this entire time. I thought you were gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. That was terrifying. <sighs> it does make me wonder though, like, this was obviously a test from Rex Lapis for Xiao. What? Man, I don't even know what to think. Like, if Xiao tried sacrificing himself before this point, would Rex Lapis have stepped in to help? Or would he just have let him die? Like, I don't get it. It is very strange, but also glad he's safe. Glad he's okay. I don't think we were ever going to reach an agreement over the final strategy. But in the end, it was thanks to you that we managed to escape. So, thank you for saving us all. Salute. I agree. <sighs> Dude, just, just accept that. No. I could not have done this on my strength alone. Yeah. Don't mention it. Looks like everyone got out unscathed. Can we please compliment Senpai Yanfei, Rest up. Kuki Shinobu, no Paimon Ushi, here. and Arataki Ito, who are also vibing here. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. She's gone. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. Why is that hyphenated? It seems like she's convinced Xiao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. And since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything. Maybe Yalon's just given up trying to talk to him. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Xiao, she's criticizing you. I am not. You speak only the truth. I have no quarrel with that. I will keep your words in mind. Bullchucker still hasn't woken up yet. Surely he's not gonna stay asleep forever. Is he? I bet he's like up and doing something already. Mm. Oh, never mind. Mm. He just got up. Ah, I slept like a rock. And another nice. dump session. <laughs> uh, so, I'm sorry. The animation they chose for this with Traveler raising his arm up is like... Dude, come on. Like, I mean... <laughs> like, it's supposed to be an expression of concern, right? Like, like, like what Paimon's doing. But they chose this animation, which just looks more like... Dude, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The head? What about it? Wait, she can Did understand Ushi now? You can speak Ushi? Can I learn that? You weren't that bright to begin with, so if we ever I was going to say, I was going to say. Well, well Paimon, I feel like it wouldn't make a difference, actually. What the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Wait, were we underground? How did we get back up here? It's a long story. We'll fill you in later. Ito, we're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. Yeah. We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies and let me find some way to compensate you for the trouble. Ah, crazy talk. You helped us first. Of course we're going to return the favor. Ah, I like how that loops around. I like how that hey, loops around. And not to mention, I mean, Yanfei was kind of like, quote unquote, our savior down there as well. That's not quite correct. So. You'd be in jail, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I love how that squeaky this? laugh. All right, well, I promise I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Take it easy, okay? What we just went through was a lot. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Wow. Okay, I'll let him know. Traveler, Flying Lavender Melon, Ushi has a couple words he'd like you to pass on for him. Good idea! Let's do that! Uh. Uh, why is it off screen? Sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. 
I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. What words? All right, Ito, Shinobu, Ushi, let's go. Oh, yeah! Grub time! Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Finished taking care of business? I hope so. <laughs> You're still here. What? I could say the same thing about you. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut. Oh For boy, Ito. We'll make sure they don't say anything. Please don't hurt them. Oh, I love the animations. <laughs> you figured me out, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll quit pulling your leg. Yeah, it really hurts. Ow! Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. I won't ever forget what we went through. Me neither. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Bye, Yelan. Also, does Yelan know that we met Rex Lapis? That would be weird. Anyway. You knew I was waiting for you? Really? Is this where we kiss? Oh my god! <laughs> There's oh my god, it is. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're actually, we're going on a date with Shower, everybody. Where Let's go. It? A place that has to do with the Yaksha. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not so much. Might be the most depressing date anyone would have ever had, but like, let's go. Is this the um Pervasi's thing? Pervasi's uh temple. The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervasi's. Yep. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. I think you're more than that, Xiao. You're an edgy son of a bitch who is short and fun to talk to. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. Xiao, we've got something to tell you. Oh yeah, Ushi wanted us to tell you. It's very important. Is, are those Ushi's words? Ushi said he ah. has the power to exercise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. Even though the power of a Yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. Yeah. Yep, like people with visions. They have more resistance against your power, right? <sighs> Suddenly you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think I was the only one who didn't think that way. But strangely, that could also be the reason why he's still here, if you think about it. Like, being less attached to that kind of stuff, and like, understanding like, his karmic ties and whatever, and being like, one with that instead is what allowed him to put up with it for so long. The Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. And you're Alatus. I am Alatus. Yep. Bosatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Sheesh. Yeah, honestly, I like how... This quest has such a perfect blend of lore, new gameplay mechanics, just you had wholesome moments, you had stuff that really got you thinking, and you had like, you know, those really dark moments in the story that usually don't show up in Genshin, or at least aren't balanced by things, right? In Genshin, there can be very depressing stuff that you could, you know, talk about like the Vision Hunt Decree and the Sokoku Decree and all that stuff in Inazuma. I don't know, just a lot of the depressing st stuff that happened in Inazuma was never balanced, and then you have stuff like this, where I feel like Leah does it right, where you have a lot of this really deep, rich lore, a lot of this really intense, dark stuff as well, but it's all designed in a way that's balanced, you know, and it doesn't feel too heavy. For example, like, understanding the past of Xiao, or like the Yakshas or the Adepti even, or understanding like Rex Lapis, right? It's pretty dark and you can feel it, right? But these are characters that are strong, that have moved past it. 
and you know it's all in the past it's all in the past and like you also have like the present moment like being trapped underground and having all of that depressing you know how do we get out of here kind of stuff that was balanced by the interactions between the characters the developing relationships between the characters like Paimon and Ito and all of that and like obviously the comedy aspects of well of Ito and Paimon it was just really really good I feel like and really really refreshing to see this kind of writing come back to Genshin like I feel like it was lost at around when Inazuma came out and it kind of restabilized itself with with like Enkanomi but Enkanomi had focused way too heavily on like just having a dark area with like lore or whatever um in terms of actual story and like our conquest story we will be reunited it, it like started a trend of just this will be intense from here on out my personal analysis i'll probably update this i don't know but like that's what i think very cool and yeah i couldn't have done all i did without everyone's help even in the final moments it took every bit of my power to break free from that place you made it out well Paimon still thinks you were amazing. Vouch! Thank you, Paimon. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. It's good that one more person will remember him. Oh, wow. Mm, Minogius, where have you been? Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Oh. Stay here. No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm... A Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clear as day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously... <sighs> of course I want to go home. I must have... family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. <sighs> Alatus, is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's calling again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? They're... They're my... My... Remember now, I know you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, Boy Young. You're, you're awake? At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, Brother Bosatius. 
Hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I... I am Bosatius, and my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. Wow. Dude. Wow. Okay. Legitimately, I got goosebumps. Like, actually. Like, that was that was insane. I will say a couple things. Number one, voice acting. Incredible animation. Incredible as usual. Really putting in the work. I really love that animation. And another thing, I guess, to add on that. The uh, being able to see all of the Yaksas, like all five of them, is very interesting. Because I don't think we've been formally introduced to all five and like their personalities yet you can kind of get like a you know the vibe of each of them very very interesting i have so much to say but like i'll just finish the quest first by now i have accepted the destiny as the one disaster that the yaksha know most keenly of all we are destined to misery and yet we have no fear there's a mint in the background i kind of want to nab it bonanis monogius and indarius all perished and only Bosatius's fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonana said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Sorry, I just... I can't... I can't take the name Bonana seriously. <laughs> Bananas! Bosatius, Boyang, and all those soldiers. And banana! I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Heroes. I like that word. Have you never been called it? Dude. Man, if he didn't have karma all over his body, I would give him a huge hug right now. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. From this day on, heroes will always look out for each other. Wow! That's it. That's the whole thing. I literally... It's beautifully said. This was so unbelievably amazing. I could not tell you. Also, wait. I gotta get that mint that was in the background. Yeah! That felt gratifying. So, that was, unironically, one of the best things that Hoyoverse has ever done for Genshin Impact. One of the best things in Genshin Impact, period. Up until this present day because dude that quest did so many things right i guess in summary the character interactions were good the development of everything was good the pacing of everything was nice all of the backgrounds the um aesthetics of everything looked really good like the um the layout of every area the colors the just and i'd say that whole experience felt really really refreshing because it wasn't like it was telling anything particularly new. Like, it didn't feel like it was trying to be anything different than what Genshin already has. It's just performing what it currently is to the best of its ability and to the fullest, where you have all of this balance of tragedy and intensity and lore and knowledge and, like, puzzle and all of that and, like, the combat and everything. The, the main thing that this quest was missing, I feel like, was just a climax um, of, of like, on, on the player's behalf, on the player's end, right? So, like, the climax of this was supposed to be um, the whole Xiao thing when, when you're down there and you're doing the thing with Xiao. That was, like, the peak of what the player was supposed to be able to do, but it ended up being very underwhelming and very lame. I feel like they could have polished that and made it, like, a more intense, actually deserved fight, but other than that, beautiful quest beautifully done i'm very very happy with the way this was done and i'm very excited to see how people interpret this because there's a lot to unpack lots of stuff to think about in in hindsight and a lot of afterthought so i will leave that to your interpretation i don't want to delve too much into what i think i just i'm really proud of this quest and i think they did a lot of things right and yeah with all of that said and done though thank you so much for watching this video and making it this far um this isn't a video that I normally make, um, and I don't know if I want to repeat doing this for other Genshin updates and try to make, like, you know, the commentary better and all of that, try and find my flow, but I'm really glad you made it this far into the video because most people don't even watch this far with my normal content, so the fact that you're here is super awesome, and I really appreciate that you appreciate my content and that you 
might have found this enjoyable. So if you did, please subscribe, join my Discord server, leave a like, all that stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this quest as much as I did, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, I appreciate you so much, and cheers. I'll see you around.